Today we're going to go over on how to create an event page for your Ticket Network template website. As you can see, I've already opened Web Control Panel and chosen the site I wanted from the drop-down menu. Now I'm going to click to go to Website Admin Panel. Once we're in the Admin Panel, we're going to go to Pages and then Event Pages. And as you can see, I've already got some in here, but I'm going to create a new one. Alright, the title for my page is going to be Bob Dylan. The browser title is what shows up in the top of the tab. So as you can see here, it says Ticket Network on the admin panel. For the Bob Dylan page, I'd like for it to say Bob Dylan Tickets. The meta description is what will show on search engines, and also the meta keywords are keywords for search engines. I'm going to skip these for our purposes today, as they're completely optional, but feel free to add any meta description to your pages. The head content is where you can add any custom code or scripts that you want to the page. Anything added here won't be visible on the site, but it'll just live in the head content of the HTML. The event page content is the content that shows on the page. You can include text, HTML, or CSS here. I'm just going to include a brief message about Bob Dylan tickets. All right, then we're going to go to Query Keywords. And this is the keywords that'll search the Ticket Network database to find the exact events you want. So you can be as specific as you'd like, but I'm just going to pull up all Bob Dylan events for this page. The target URL is a way of setting up the URL that is a little more advanced. And if you mouse over, you can see that it would be set up with the results event page. If you don't know anything about this, you can just skip it because we'll be setting up the URL further down somewhere else. The videos query is what will allow videos to show on the page and they're just pulled from YouTube. So you can put any keywords and they will show videos relating to those keywords. And the same thing with the news query, this will just pull an RSS feed of the top news results relating to your keywords. I'm going to check to show the event page and this is what will allow my video and news content to show as well as any other event page content. I'm also going to show the event list since that'll show all of the events. If you don't include this, it'll still put a link to go to the event page so customers can still choose to buy tickets. The URL slug is going to be the URL for your page. It has to be all lowercase letters and dashes instead of spaces. You can mouse over here if you need a reminder on how to do that. But I'm just going to make Bob Dylan just like that. And then the code is if you're going to be ranking the pages, if you add them in a list, like for the top events, then you can rank them so that one would show above the other one if you'd like. All right, I'm going to save our page. All right, and now I'm going to add a picture. So I'm just going to come over to this thumbnail image. And we can either upload a picture from our own computer or we can use the image search tool, which will just browse Bing images. Okay. Now please keep in mind that any copywritten images you are responsible for, you can uh, avoid getting any copyright images by putting in royalty free, though it's not guaranteed that any images returned will be copyright free. All right, I'm just going to pick this, I'm going to put the position where I want and hit crop and save, and then done. All right, so you can see our image is there and now that's done. And just creating the event page does not add it to your site. So I'm going to choose where I want to add it on the home page by going to core pages and then looking at the home page. And I think I'd like to add it for a featured event. All right, and you get a drop down of all of your event pages. I'm just going to add Bob Dylan. And then if you come up to preview the site, you can now see my Bob Dylan page with the image chosen is there, as well as the content I put in. 
This is the ticket list that we had checked off to add, our video query, and our news query. And that's how you can add any event page to your new template website. Thanks for watching.